Welcome, I'm Dragon. Today's quick tip is all about the shear tool. To use it, it's under the toolbar and under object in object mode, mesh in edit mode, curve in edit mode with a curve, and surface in edit mode with a surface object. Then with any of these four, go under transform, then you'll see shear. You can also use the hotkey shift command option S. Now what to do? Well, it makes parallel surfaces move past each other. It also works based on what the pivot point is. Now in the side menu, offset is the distance, axis is the axis of the shearing plane, axis orthographic is the other axis of the shearing plane, Orientation will change the orientation depending on what it is currently set as. And finally, proportional editing will make the shearing less harsh depending on the size, how much geometry, and the proportional fall off. Oh, by the way, two sphere, cotton under the tool bar, hidden behind shear, or mesh transform two sphere, and the hotkey is shift option S. Might very well be the weirdest tool ever. It allows you to really turn anything into a sphere, like a monkey. Honestly, turning a cube into a sphere would be more useful. Well, thanks for watching. Thank you, Patreon, and bye.